Imagine. Every plant... My favorites are into. I never thanked you for helping me investigate that strange sound. Oh, no need. Just glad to help. Not so fast. The sound has returned, and with it, the children at their questions. Late thou, you said the sound would go away. Again? I can take another look. Still the same spot? Yes, the hills nearby. But at night. Always at night. What if we can't find the source of the sound this time? The children's curiosity is endless. They swarm around me like Kinglor, only they are less fuzzy and somehow more tiring. But if we adults demand they respect our words, then we must also show them our words are worth respecting. Hello, who is there? The Sarantu and Arana are friends.
That sound. There. place is forbidden. Why have you come? The children have been hearing strange noises at night. You, Sarantu, and your inescapable curiosity, like the jaws of a prowling Thanator. It is this instrument, a gift from a Kamatere musician years ago. I am an old man. But even I can sense the light of curiosity fading from all of Ronahe, the further we are mired in our own affairs. So, I picked up this dusty instrument to remind myself there is a world outside of our Ronahe traditions, to rekindle my own curiosity, as silly as that may seem. But why the secrecy? Young one. I know what the others say about me when I am not around. Nyunan, the stuffy, cantankerous elder who balks at everything. Perhaps this is who I am meant to be. This instrument will be shelved away once more, with all my efforts reduced to a strange noise that terrifies the children at night. You said you felt that curiosity slipping from your people. Maybe your curiosity would inspire others somehow. Yes, I never thought of it this way. I still have a few tricks to show the rest of my people. If I am to inspire young and old alike, I must not be afraid to show this side of me. Of course, my young friend, you are right indeed. I will not wait to show the Auronahe this side of Nilnan. You have returned again. Any good news this time? Nilnan is the one making that sound. He's practicing a new instrument, from another clan. <laughs> ah, child. I know this aren't to our gifted storytellers. But this is taking it too far, yes? 
He hopes to master the instrument and share it with the rest of the clan when he's ready. Oh, you are being serious. Ninyan! It was a horrid sound, just so we are clear. I will admit, I am quite impressed by the old man's resolve. Perhaps I have been too harsh on him in the past. Now the children can rest easy, and so can I, awaiting Nilnyan's entertainment. <laughs> ah. Relun should learn to shut his trap. <laughs> 